So I've been growing these cherry tomatoes in a hole that was in my yard. And my mom always told me that if you grow tomatoes directly in the yard, they do the absolute best. And as you can see, these have a ton of tomatoes on them. Um, so I hadn't, <laughs> you can tell the difference. Okay, I am going through and I am getting all of the suckers off. I'm just pruning my tomatoes, which I hadn't done yet. And so you can see how many fruits is on this side. And I honestly need to get these up on a stake now because they're falling over and they're kind of just laying on the grass. So I need to go ahead and get these put up, but I just want to show you kind of the difference in when you start pruning them. So these, you can see there's nice airflow and this side over here, which is like a huge dense clump has not been pruned at all. So basically what I'm going in and doing is I'm pruning off all these leaves down here and there is so many. See, you've got flowers in here that aren't getting any sun. And so any branch kind of like this one right here, let me just show you. This one right here that doesn't have anything growing on it versus like this little branch here that has tomatoes. I'm just cutting these off. And especially like down in here, like these don't really need to be on here. Even if they had some flowers, I still might cut off these ones on the bottom just because there's so many and it's so thick. And I did plant hot peppers, but as you can see, because of my tomatoes, my hot peppers, one of my tomatoes fell off. Um, but my hot peppers have hardly done anything. They might get a little bit more robust once I pick up my tomatoes and I get them off of the ground. But um, this is just something, a little tip. Oh, and the marigolds. So I have the marigolds in here. So here's just a little tip. If you wanna grow these tomatoes, of all my tomatoes are doing the absolute best. They have so many leaves. They are just so much more healthy than my other tomatoes. They've got a ton of little cherry tomatoes already, and these were just planted straight in the ground. For some reason, tomatoes planted straight in the ground just do amazing. So if you can choose between like a container and the ground, always choose the ground and then go through and prune your tomatoes up once they start getting a little bit crazy. You could even do it earlier, but I don't think there's any like rule on when you need to do it. I hope this helps you guys.